Hello and welcome to Mr. Mahmood Maths. Today's lesson is going to be on Pythagoras' theorem. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify hypotenuse of a right angled triangle as the longest side. You should be able to calculate the length of the hypotenuse in a right angled triangle. And finally, you should be able to calculate the length of the shorter sides in a right angled triangle. Did you know that Pythagoras was vegetarian? And also, Pythagoras' followers really believed that he was a demigod. He also had some unusual rules. He made his followers put the right shoe on first, and he also forbid them to go onto public roads. Anyone who joined his cult had to stay silent for up to five years. How long can you stay silent for? Let me guess. Five minutes? Okay. Two minutes. Thought so. Anyway, now Pythagoras is not just stuck in maths. Beautiful art can be created using the Pythagoras theorem. And this is called a Pythagorean tree. Now, if you're interested in creating one of these trees, then here are some instructions. Why not pause the video and have a go? Or you can have a go at this at the end of this video. You can also find some step by step instructions on the internet. I'll post some links in the description below. So what is Pythagoras' theorem? Pythagoras discovered that if you square the short two sides of the right angle triangle then it will be equal to the square of the longest side of the triangle. So the formula is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. That's not a very nice square, is it? But anyway. So why do we need Pythagoras' theorem? Now, in order to work out a missing side of a right angled triangle, we need to use the Pythagoras' theorem. And note that it only works on a right angled triangle. So this triangle is a right angled triangle. We know because there's a right angle sign there. The square sign represents that is a right angle. And this is a right angle triangle. So if we've been given this side here and this side here, then we can use those two sides to work out the longest side of the triangle. Now the first thing you need to be able to do is identify which is the longest side of the triangle. And it's called the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse of the triangle is always opposite the right angle. So here's the right angle here and it's always opposite of the right angle. The side opposite the right angle is always the longest and it is called the hypotenuse. So we managed to identify the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle. Can you identify the hypotenuse of these three right angled triangles? I hope you managed to identify the hypotenuse of these three right angle triangles. So the first one, the hypotenuse is the side B because it is opposite the right angle triangle. For the green triangle, it's opposite the right triangle, which is D. And for the purple one, it is I. So these are the hypotenuses of these three right angle triangles. So our second objective is to calculate the length of the hypotenuse in a right angled triangle. Before we start, we need to know what the formula is. So formula is C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So let's start off by labeling the sides of the triangle. So let's call this side A, five centimeters. Let's call this side B, which is 12 centimeters. And let's call X as C. So according to the Pythagoras' formula, we can write down x squared, the longer side squared is equal to the short two sides squared added together. So a squared, it can be five squared, and b squared can be 12 squared, and we add them. So x squared, let's simplify the right hand side. So 25, five squared is 25, 12 squared is 144, so x squared is equal to 169. Because x squared is 169, we can write x is equal to square root of 169, which is x equals 
13 centimeters. So the longer side or the hypotenuse of this triangle is 13 centimeters. Pause the video and have a go at this question. So I hope you had to go at this question. So we said A can be four centimeters, B can be five centimeters and C is X. So according to the Pythagoras' formula, we can write C is X. So X squared is equal to A is four squared added to B is five squared. So X squared, let's simplify the right hand side. So be 16 at 25. You can also use a calculator if you want. If it's a calculated question, X squared is equal to 41. Always double check your calculation. So X is equal to square root of 41 and find out what square root of 41 is. And that gives us an answer of 6.4. So X equals 6.4 four centimeters to one decimal place. The next objective is to calculate the length of the short size in a right angled triangle. Before we start, we need to know what the formula is. So the Pythagoras' formula, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Label the sides. So let's call this A, this is B, and the hypotenuse is C. C squared is five squared, is equal to a squared is 4 squared plus b is x squared. So we need to take away 4 squared from both sides. Before we do that, let's simplify it. So 25 and 4 squared is 16 plus x squared. So let's take away 16 from both sides. Just solving an equation, 16 minus 16 both sides. That gives us an answer of 9 and 16 take away 16 is 0, that left us with just x squared. So x squared is 9, so x is going to be equal to square root of 9, and square root of 9 is 3. So our answer is x equals 3 centimeters, and that's our answer. Here's the one question for you to have a go at. Pause the video and have a go. Okay, I hope you had to go at this question. In this question, I'll show you a slightly easy way, which will be easier for you to remember. So because we're finding the short side, we can square the both sides and then subtract from each other, subtract the smaller side from the biggest one. So we can write down x squared is equal to 15 squared minus nine squared. So when we find the longer side or the hypotenuse, you square, square, add, and then square root, when you find the shorter side, you square, square, and you subtract the shorter side from the hypotenuse. So x squared is equal to 225 minus 81. x squared is equal to, use your calculator if you're not sure. If, of course, if it's a calculator paper, x squared is equal to 144. So x will be equal to square root of 144 so x is equal to square root of 144 is 12. So x is 12 centimeters. So let's quickly recap what we've done. So looking, for, if you're looking for the longest side or the hypotenuse, you square, square both sides and then add them together and then square root the big number. Looking for a shorter side and it is not the hypotenuse, then you square, you square it and then you subtract. Always remember you subtract the smaller side square from the bigger side square. And then finally you square root it and that will give you the answer. I suggest that you make a note of these now. Okay, that was the end of the video. For the next steps, make sure you write down the notes straight away and Visit www.widethesky.co.uk for some exam questions based on the Pythagoras' theorem and watch the next video by clicking the link. The website is still under construction. I'm hoping it will be up and running within the next few weeks. So keep an eye out and I will see you in the next video. Mr. Mahmood helping you do better in maths.